I'm here with Emily Hopkins, Slippery Rock Women's Head Lacrosse Coach, who's been running this event for a couple years now. How many how many girls have showed up this year? Um, we had about 40 registered. We've had a few that haven't shown up yet, so I think around 35. Do you think that's a good turnout? Um, it's a pretty good turnout. I'd be happier if we had some more, just knowing that we've got girls from a lot of different areas um, um, around. So. Hopefully in the future we can keep spreading the word again. More. And why do you think it's important for this to keep running each year? Um, I think it's you know as valuable for the young girls as it is for the student athletes. Um, student athletes really enjoy the experience and being able to work with the girls and teach their sports. And for the young girls, you know, some of them learn different sports that they're not normally exposed to, um, like lacrosse and field hockey that they might not be getting that aren't as popular out in this area. I'm here with Emily Vitez, senior women's basketball player. Um, since you've been participating in this event, why? what do you like about it? Well, I love to participate in children, and I love impacting their lives and hopefully getting them to play sports in the future. As a female athlete yourself, why do you think it's important to participate in events like these? Well, I think it's important to impact and help the community, and also I think it's important for children get to play and learn about different sports and hopefully one day become one of us. What's your name? Bella. Bella, were you excited to come play today? Yes. Do you like particip Do you like playing with the older girls? No? What's your favorite sport to play today? Soccer. Soccer? Have you ever played it before? Today was your first time? Mm -hmm. Were you really good at it? I didn't even start soccer yet. Oh, are you excited to? Yeah. Okay. I'm here with Allison Shade, a field hockey player. Since you've participated in this event before, what do you like about it? Um, I think it's a really good opportunity for young girls to come out and see all the different kinds of sports and activities that we offer at a college level. And why do you think it's important for uh, female athletes to participate in events like these each year? Um, I think it's really important for them to open their eyes there and it's important for them to have an active lifestyle and this is a good way for them to see it. Alrighty, I'm here with... Were you excited to come today? <laughs> yeah, why were you excited? Because I like to play and watch sports. And I think it's fun. And how about you, Gabby? Um, I was excited to come because I just thought it was kind of interesting to try out this place. What was your favorite activity so far today? Um, volleyball. Volleyball? And for you? Volleyball. Do you think you're going to come back next year? Possibly. Possibly? <laughs> Why did you enjoy volleyball so much? Um, because we're like in a, we're both on our sports and we're like trying, like we're practicing like right now. So. You're in practicing? What was your favorite new activity you did today? Um, soccer. Soccer? Awesome. I'm here with junior uh, lacrosse player Lacey Alice. Since you've been participating in this event for a few years now, what's your favorite part about it? Um, my favorite part would probably be seeing how excited the girls are to play sports and try new things that they haven't done before. Why do you think it's important for female athletes to participate in events like these each year? Uh, it's important for a lot of us if we're um, Zed majors, like I'm an early childhood major, so it's good for me to get experience, especially with working with sports and kids. Um, and it's good to see nice role models um, for the young girls.